Why didn't you tell the two officers over in Tampa? I, I just don't get why you would tell them that you were a police officer for Oviedo for 12 years or 10 years and that you were in the military and got out as a major for 12 years. Do you think that helps boast you? Be you, man. Listen to me. What are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Don't That's not even my voice. Get the fuck over before you find out. Stop pretending you're a police officer. Listen, Stop. I know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. What you need to do is figure it out. That's not me. That's not even my voice. Okay. I'm not anyone. Corporal, I, we're done. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Does anyone want to talk to me? Okay. You're, 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 what is, exactly what is the point of this video? You asked me. Uh, we made a right on red. Okay, but you asked me if I could show you where you. I'm not impersonating. You we're said, not running said, a siren. It's did you right not hear on the red. Sirens? Huh? Did you not hear the sirens? You, you want me to show you another video where you're running <laughs> cars off the road? Because I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know how you're still alive. I remember mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. saying something about how she was blackmailing you. Correct. So that, that made me curious. Oh, you mean, yeah, I paid for her hotel, but right. I didn't meet her in them. Oh, I, I wasn't, right. That's why I'm saying is, because you kept saying how she was blackmailing you. Right. So I'm, I, I was asking her, and she be, actually became at one point kind of offended, like I was trying to accuse her. Mm. And I was, I was like, well, why? if you have an issue with the guy, and then you call the cops on the guy, mm -hmm. and then you're trying to hook up with the guy again and get something out of him, that doesn't sound right. right. So she said that, and then she said, come the beginning of the year, that you all met up again. And, and I understand there was an allegation of rape there. I, now, I didn't ask her about it. I, I asked her a little bit of like, okay, so can you explain? She said she wanted nothing to do with it. She didn't want to talk about right, it. Right, because she, she didn't want to get herself into a lie and get caught. And that's because, possible. Because... When she lied to Detective Torso, because they were because the information. <laughs> well, let me tell you. So let me finish. Go ahead. I'm so, listening. So she she wouldn't she didn't want to discuss it at all. So she said she came back up. She discussed it. She was upset about it. Whatever, whatever. But then, then she said she had contact with you again and went out with you a couple more times. I asked mm -hmm. her. I said, "Well, okay. So if you were so worried about him, why did you keep meeting with him?" Um, I was worried about him. So he's never given you money? No. In June, he, he met with you and gave you money? Yes. So he's never given you money? No. In June, he, he met with you and gave you money? Yes. So he's never given you money? No. Okay. I was worried about him. Okay, so if you were so worried about him, why did you keep meeting with him? Um, I was worried about him. I needed help with something. I needed financial help. I was at like a low point in my life and so I was kind of reaching back out to people from the past. Okay, so in June, he, he met with you and gave you money? Yes, he helped me with something. Yes. Okay. I needed assistance. I, so, He never paid me money. It, he paid for a hotel. Okay, so he's never given you money? No. Okay. Okay, so, but you said in June he did. What did he give you in June? When I say money, I mean he gave me money for a hotel. Like, he paid for it. He never handed me cash. Okay. So, explain. So, you were, like, living in your car or something, and so he provided a place for you to stay overnight? Sure. Okay. I mean, is that what it is? Or? Yes. Okay. You know Jessica? Yes. I don't okay. know her, but I've heard of her, yes. Okay. And, and how do you know her? I know of her because when I was giving the information to Mr. Angelo about the fake names that he was giving... Um, I was looking up like some of his um, businesses and I saw her name there. I don't know her. I've never like talked to her. Well, I talked to her one time, but that was because it was a control call. And when you say control call, call what do you mean? Um, I was at Orange County Sheriff's Office and they wanted me to call him, but he was in jail at the time and she had his phone. Ah, okay. So it wasn't like, that's why I say I don't reach out to these people. Right, right. And so when you talked to her, what did she say? She said that he wasn't available to talk. And I said, well, I want to talk to him. And she said he's not available. And then that was it. That was the end of the control call. She said that he wasn't available to talk, and I said, well, I want to talk to him, and she said he's not available, and then that was it. That was the end of the control call. When you had contact him with him in January mm -hmm. of 2019, December of 2018, mm -hmm. uh, did, 
was what, anything occur then? He said that he was trying to start up the ambulance services, mm -hmm. and then that's when I found out about her, um, because her name was on it. And I said, well, who is this stupid person that you got to do this for you? And he said that it wasn't anyone. And then, of course, like I said, I put, put it all together. Um, and then I contacted, oh gosh, I can't remember the woman's name. I have to look at my phone. Um, she's some type of medical, she's the head person. Like when you want to start any type of ambulance service, you have to go to this lady. She's a medical director? Yes. I contacted her. I emailed her. We talked. I told her what was going on, that he's a sex offender. He's trying to hide behind this girl. Um, and he's trying to start this emergency medical ambulance service. When he was arrested, I think it was um, for the uh, the first time when I, I contacted Mr. Angelo. So he doesn't have your same phone number anymore? Nope. When did you change that? It was like January. January, so the last time you talked to him probably? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have kids? I have a son. Do you have kids? I have a son. Okay. Has he ever met your son? Yes. How old's your son? 15. Were you a victim? Did he do anything to you yes. that made you feel like a victim? Yes. And what is that? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Was this the uh, the charges for the the uh, the sex crime? Sure. Against you? Sure. Okay. Uh, and so you felt like nothing was done with that, so you just are still wanting to make sure he's dealt with. It's not a bad thing to say yes. I mean, it's that, but it's not just that. It's just okay. it's it's. Nothing's ever done to him. He, when I found out that he was impersonating an officer, I was surprised he didn't kill the officer. When I found out that he was impersonating an officer, I was surprised he didn't kill the officer. He feels like he can do whatever he wants to do, and nothing's ever done to him ever. Okay. Because he said if he was going to go back to prison, he wasn't going to go back, and that he was going to go to the sheriff's office and kill all of you, and then he was going to kill himself. And yes, I contacted the FBI, and I told them that. Okay, so when you filed the charges saying that, that he had raped you, mm -hmm. correct? Is I believe this was, yeah, go ahead. Is, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so you filed charges saying, mm -hmm. you filed a report saying he had raped you. This was after. I filed the report after. Oh, after I, this? Yes. So, what statement was he talking about that he wanted you to reverse then? This is the kick thing. The this kick is still thing. ongoing. Okay. So, the, the whole thing when you reported him for not registering yeah. this stuff. That was still uh, ongoing. That was still ongoing. That's when he told you you need to change it mm -hmm. so that it really wouldn't matter because it doesn't matter about what your statement is. I know. So, he wanted you to change that and he was going to kill himself if you didn't. Well, he was going to kill you all and kill himself, yes. Right. Then you filed the, the, the complaint about the rape. Do I have to? I mean, I don't understand. Did he contact you and try to get you to drop that too? The, the rape? Mm -hmm. I've never spoken to him since then. I, 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 I filed the, the police report about the rape after January, yes. Okay. Okay, so January was the last time you talked I've to him. I've never spoken to him, talked to him, anything. Okay. All right, so it makes a little more sense to me now. Okay. All right, so... <clears throat> And, and before that, when you started with the kick thing and everything, that's when he was calling you. And the reason I'm asking is because if he was truly trying to get you to change your statement, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm trying to figure out is if it's also right around the same time that you uh, did the the, uh, the the complaint for the, the rape. Mm -hmm. That's tampering with a witness. I know, and I told the prosecutor that, and there, I have emails about that, but she's... This is going to sound so stupid. Crime. She's friends with the defense attorney. They're friends on Facebook. Like, she was never going to do anything about it. Okay. And who is the state attorney? Um, Tatiana Cordner. C-O-R-D-N-E-R. I have screenshots of them being friends on Facebook. All right, so go ahead. So now he's they're friends on Facebook. You saw that, so you felt like they were never going to do anything. What did the state attorney, when she called you, what did she tell you? When you spoke with the state attorney and about your case, what did she tell you? The reason she was said, just she was dropping it. Which case are we talking about? Are we talking about the rape? The rape. Again? I hung up on her. You what? I hung up on her. 
Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna sit there and, and listen to that crap. So I hung up and I changed my number and I was done. So I okay. changed my number a second time because my number has already changed. She called me and then. And what did she tell you when she called you? She said, "Well, um, I have to tell you that we're not gonna be able to prosecute." And then she started, and all I heard was like, "Wah wah wah," and then I hung up. Yeah. And then I think they tried to call me back, and then I changed my number. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm done with it. I, I'm not doing that. Okay. If you were asked to testify against him in court, would you be able to do that? Yeah, but it's probably not going that far. For sure. Oh, it, it's going to go that far. I mean, I do think he's a danger. He's, he's a dangerous person. That's why I don't, that's why I've been like laying low and I've tried to like stay away from all of it. And I am here for the exact same reason you are because we feel that he is a, a danger and a menace to the society and Orange County residents and other agencies around within around Orange County, uh, whether it be the, throughout the state, basically. All right? So that's our goal is to stop the shenanigans that he keeps doing. So if it comes a time, I just want to make sure that you are okay with testifying. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Do you have anything you want to add? you want any questions? Do you have anything you want to add? Um, not right now. What did she tell you? The reason she was said, that she was dropping it. Which case are we talking about? The rape. Again, I hung up on her. You what? I hung up on her. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna sit there and, and listen to that crap. So I hung up and I changed my number and I was done. So I okay. changed my number a second time because my number has already changed. She called me and then. And what did she tell you when she called you? She said, "Well." Um, I have to tell you that we're not going to be able to prosecute. And then she started, and all I heard was like, wah, 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 and then I hung up. Yeah. And then I think they tried to call me back, and then I changed my number. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm done with it. I, I'm not doing that. Right, because okay. it's a lie. So then, <laughs> then, and, and, I, and I'll tell you, I interviewed her over on Windermere mm -hmm. with uh, Detective Allen. She came over, he, she contacted him. So she showed up over there, I went over there and interviewed her. So we okay. interviewed her for a while. And then, of course, then, she, mm -hmm. you know, when she left, I think when she left at first, she thought that I was, uh, and I, I tried to explain her, I, I'm kind of like vetting you to make sure what you're telling me is the truth. Right. Because I don't know you, you could be just telling me something because you don't like Jeremy. Right. Uh, and that's God's my witness. I told her that. And so, that's what it is. Uh, right. So then, you know, then that's when she starts providing me with all the, the text messages that you all mm -hmm. had and the pictures and stuff. Uh, and, and all kinds of uh, screenshots of stuff from, uh, of yours or whatever that you had sent her. <clears throat> uh, so, and I asked her, I said, well, why would you even continue to meet up with them? So then, then she said, they st you all stopped after like January or so. And then... So yeah, all of a sudden, years ago. Yeah, it, uh, it's been a year, about a year ago. No, so uh, no, hell no, it's not. It's been almost three years. Okay, well, the last about? time you all talked, and and I asked her, I said, why all of a sudden would you be showing back up? Because I'm curious, why would she show back up the Windermere? That doesn't to make Windermere. Any, that, yeah, she called Windermere because oh, she heard you've been arrested. Okay, I'm listening. Uh huh. And so I was, I was confused by it. So and and so I'm, I'm just explaining how I got all the information. So. Oh. So, and that's how I got the information from her, because she showed back up, and I asked her, why all of a sudden, out of the blue, are you wanting to add information? Right. So, and she just said she felt uncomfortable with you, and, and I left it at that. She sent me all her stuff, and I really haven't done, dealt with her anymore. I'm telling you this so you know everybody. I told you I'm going to share everything with you. Right. So... I, I, I am, and, and so and we've talked about Jess, right? Right, but you know, the thing is, is now did you buy Jess out, or did she uh, just take her name off of everything? We just she just left. So did she take her name off of everything, or did you buy her out? She's in the process of removing her name. At least that's what I was told. Okay. So your tow truck. <laughs> I gotta ask about this too before I lose the train of thought on it. Are you not supposed to have a lien against your tow truck, no. Tony? No. We never did the loan. I can sh pull my phone out. So I'll he show never you. gave you that fifteen thousand. No. So wait. So the text messages that he's provided that says, "Thank you so much. Uh, you have done me so great by uh, loaning me the money, and we're on our way back now with the tow truck." And uh, the text messages where you were telling him to meet 
So, because his, I guess his daughter was in the hospital giving birth or something, and she was having problems or something. So he was freaking out, but he left and, and he got the money and gave it to you. Uh, that the, the he pictures never that. gave us the money at the hospital. Okay. He wanted to meet my wife. I pull. Where's my phone? Listen, I, just, all you gotta do is tell me. I, I, I'm just asking. I gotta ask the question. Corporal. You can dispel okay. it. That's this is your opportunity. Corporal. He never gave us the loan. Okay. I have it on a body cam downloaded. Okay. Where me so and my wife paper, sit in. So the piece of paper that you wrote on and you told them you're going to pay him back after, that it's dated after that you got the tow truck. And he wrote on there and it's all scribbled up. And Jess. Right, because we crossed everything out. Right. Who typed that form? Jess. Okay. I just want to make sure, because I showed it to Jess. Jess identified it right. as being something she wrote, but she said she was not present. Right. And she said that uh, you, you illegally took a picture of her driver's license and gave it to Tony. Uh, I took a what? And she says you have a, a copy of everybody's all your employees' driver's license. That's well, that's kind of normal if they work for yeah. you. Yeah, you well, have they're that. not our employers, but right. well, they are. We already established. They're not my employees. Listen, stop that. We right. already established it through workers' comp. I don't care. Right. I'm, I'm not here to deal with workers' comp, whether right. they're your actual employees or 1099 employees. Right. A 1099 employee is the same thing you tell them, and I'm gonna explain it. Sheriff's office. When I when I work off duty, yeah, we already went just recently, right. yeah, to change the policy, right? So gotcha. so it, it, we're an employee. They right. follow your rules, your direction, and right. and workers come from that. So the, don't 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 try to do that anymore because I'm, I'm right. just sweating. So the the point is is that she saw the form, she identified it as being the one who typed it. Right. She said that you all crossed out stuff from her. And then you saw where Tony initialed next to it, and I have and on, on on the back side of the page. There's a spec section that it's talking about how you're going to pay him out of the uh, the U-Haul money. Uh, so many things and so many toes. No, 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 no. Oh, go ahead. I'm listening. You're going to pay rent mm -hmm. and then the, the tow truck. How are you going to pay it back? And, and you're going to try to do it in this amount of time as quickly as possible. There's also no, some text messages. That's incorrect. Okay, well, let I, me, I, go, I, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sure. Can just spell it. Sure. And then there's also text messages where you told them the same thing that, you know, I mean, after you, you sounded genuinely grateful. Right. And, and I think, let me tell you what I mm -hmm. think. So, so I think, you know, you told them you're genuinely grateful for giving them the money. Uh, to purchase this thing, that this is really going to make a difference, and the two of you are going to make lots of money. Right. And uh, and I, I think that you all had the falling out with mm -hmm. whatever happened at the yard and then whatever is going on with you and Tony. And you decided, I, I, I'm done with you, Tony. And guess what? You can pound sand, I'm not paying you. But here's the right. thing. Uh, you, you were supposed to, according to him, put two liens against two vehicles, the tow truck and the Tahoe. Mm -hmm. And you didn't do that. Right. Uh, you presented him with a piece of paper that said a lien, and it's got his company name on it, on right. two. But the one F-250, I guess, or maybe it's the 150, but one of the, the four trucks is the one you put the lien against, which was not the tow truck. And he was not aware of that. I didn't put the liens. Who put the liens? What DMV's thinking is that he came down and put the liens, somehow took my titles out of my office because he wanted the keys. Okay. So, you I he, so you think he took the titles and went down there and put the liens? I do. Because can, I can, didn't do can that. Can you tell me what office you think he went to? I don't. No. Do you think they keep the uh, the camera, the the uh, security footage? I'm just asking you before I show you that yeah, video. Yeah, of course. So it wouldn't have been you walking into that building? I went there to do the paperwork for the tow truck. Okay. I don't understand. So the time and date that you did that, the video that shows you walking into that facility, which facility was that? To do my tow truck? Mm -hmm. The Clarkona Ocoee facility. Okay. What time of the day? Morning time. I don't remember. It's about 10-ish. Okay. 10.30-ish. Does that sound about right? Sure. Okay. So the, the time that the uh, liens were put against the vehicles, they're not going to match up to any of that stuff? No. Okay. Because I didn't put the liens on the tow truck. Okay. No, there, I there is no liens on the tow truck. You're absolutely right. It was supposed to be, but there isn't. There's right. So here's a question, Corporal. Let me ask you two, a question. Let me ask vehicles. you a question. Let me ask uh -huh. you a question. You know, uh, it, it's time stamped on, right, right. on the title. So on the, the F two fifty and the and the and the tow truck are the same year. They're off by one year each. Are they? Yeah, your tow trucks are 08. It's nine of 07, which makes it an 08. Your okay. uh, your your other truck, your F two fifty, is a 07. Clearly an 07. Okay, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. So. Somebody that took the titles without permission, do you think maybe they got the wrong date? 
I, I don't understand the thing because I did it. So do you know, do you know when they do the the lean and everything, and they give you that piece of paper, kind of looks like an old style of registration, but it's a full piece and it says description of the vehicle. The bottom over here, it's got the lien holder's name in it and everything. Okay, so <clears throat> that particular document, it, it will also say the office that it uh, that it was done at. Uh -huh. It's kind of like time stamped in a code. Right. It tells the time, the date, it tells the clerk. All, all that stuff. Okay. And and they keep the video. Okay. Okay. For just this purpose, for fraudulent purposes. Right. Okay. So it, it wouldn't be hard to to track that down. I understand. And watch the video of who was there doing it. Okay. I'm just letting you know that. Sure. Okay. So I have on the phone, and I have body cam video. Jeremy, if you didn't do it, you have nothing to worry about. Right. Where we crossed out the loan. Mm -hmm. Now what you're talking about on the piece of paper where it says $100 or $200 more each month, that was if we started doing, and that's not... It's to, it. No, I agree. I it's agree. not to pay a tow truck. That's he was going to charge more each month if we started doing the tow truck and using his field as a yard, then he would charge me two hundred dollars more each month. If we started doing U-Haul, he was going to charge me two hundred dollars more well, a month. Doing right? That is correct. But me and him started to do the U-Haul together, so then he said that we could park the U-Hauls for free and he wouldn't charge the extra two hundred dollars a month. Okay. So that the extra two hundred dollars a month has nothing to do with any kind of payment. That was to pay rent, which we paid rent on time every month, and then he says that we didn't. You're not investigating the fact that he allowed us and said that we could and helped us upfit his property, and then all of a sudden filed an eviction notice saying that we didn't pay rent, uh, <clears throat> which we have proof of. That what? That we paid rent. And what's the proof? We have where he signed on the top, where I gave him the cash deposit, and we have video of him taking the check where I taped it to his door, of him taking the check, and plus, of course, we have the check cashed at the bank. All right. Uh, and just so you know, Tony's trying to reach out to me multiple times, mm -hmm. and, and I told him that it's a civil matter, that unless something changes with that, and he comes forward that, that we're not looking we are not looking at that me or Vidler right okay? so the, the, the put your mind at ease I'm not it I'm just telling I'm just telling you with all I'm, with I'm, all due respect you, to you Corey, I told you I'm telling you everything right. and I I'm at a ease 100 percent I got to figure out how to get a lien off of my Ford F-250 because there's a lien on my F-250 mm -hmm. there is you're right and I didn't put it and Do I don't owe any money uh yeah Okay. Where was this taken? This was at the the charity event that you Which guys. Which one? Huh? Which one? The U.S. Marshall charity event. The one out by the airport. Right. Okay. So this was probably back in September. I don't remember when that was, but I think so. All right. Who's this? Who's that? Yep. This young lady right here. That's um, um. Um, well, her name, Whitney. Okay. Who's this guy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That's oh, you. that's me. <laughs> what do you, whoa, whoa, man, that's you. I, I, we're not going to go through and give names for everybody. I already know everybody's name. Oh, I just okay. want to see if you know the people that work for you, if you know their name. They're, they're not employees. They don't Who's work Who's this for guy me. right here? I don't know. Who's this guy? I don't know. Corporal. This guy know. looks like a UCF police officer. You don't know, is that one of his uniforms? A UCF police officer. He was doing a, a military funeral before he came and did the event. So that's why he's in that. Do you uniform. see how he's dressed? Do you uh, think he looks like a UCF police officer? No. You don't think he looks like a police officer at all? No, he looks like a funeral escort guy. What? What? Tell me what on his uniform makes you think he's a uniform or a uh, a funeral escort guy? I can show you pictures of no, 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 every not, funeral escort any, company in Florida. I don't want you to They're show dressed else. exactly like that. I want you to tell me. Like, like here you are. Right. You, you have a gun belt on. Uh huh. A gun. Right. What's this right here? Is that a flashlight or an ass? You're, you're a lead. I'm sorry. That's a flashlight. No, wait. No, that's a flashlight. Okay. And what's this right here? Is that an ammo pouch? Mace. Mace? <clears throat> so it's pepper spray right there, right? Yes. And, and these are handcuff cases on the back right back here? Mm, no. What are they on the back? I got pictures of your back, so you can just tell me or I can just... I have a handcuff case in the back, okay. but I believe that's the, the my tourniquet. Okay, okay, so you were attorney. Okay, so is that a taser right here on him? 
Yeah. Is that a gun right here? Well, it's less lethal. Yes, but it's a gun, right? Yeah. Okay, and he has ammo pouches right here that his phone's hanging on? Right. Okay. Him and he has a and radio. Him but and he has him. a radio and a shoulder mic? Right. And he has a badge that uh -huh. resembles a police officer badge. Not no, a, not a, that's a funeral escort I badge. Said resembles no, a okay. police officer badge, okay. right? Sure. Uh, it, I mean, no, same it doesn't shape. resemble a police badge. This is the same shape and size as a like a UCF. Her Florida statute. Okay. We can't have eagle tops, and we can't have five point stars. So we picked an oval badge. Okay, we've had that you know, badge. All police officer badges. I shouldn't say all. Okay, but many of them are like I used to work for San Police Department. Our badges look just like that. What's on it, imposed on it, might be uh, different, but it's the same shape. Right. I, that's all Look, I'm saying. Corporal, let me ask you a question. Does this guy have a taser? When you stopped me 10 years ago, or, well, it hasn't been 10 years, jeez, uh, 2014, I was wearing the same badge. How come we weren't having that conversation then? You were. Uh, absolutely, you were wearing the same badge. So then I don't understand what's the difference a, you today. You weren't wearing a gun then. We started wearing those like four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. So this guy wearing a radio, you weren't wearing this radio either back then. Yes, we were. No, uh, no, I, I, oh, I yeah. I see the picture you didn't. You weren't. You weren't wearing it back then. I, I'm not making it up, man. I, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just telling you, you didn't have it on back then. Okay. So why, these guys in green, mm -hmm. why are they in green? Because they're less than 90 days. We had so, a long 90 day on, on the job training. So like probationary. Right. Okay, so they're, they're in training. Right. Okay. To make sure they know how to do the job before we let them do this it. This is repo? No. Which one, is this repo? The fact you know who repo is, that's a little concerning. I, I know who all you people are. Okay. This is Randall, right? Right. Repo doesn't work for me at this point. At this point, he does. No, he doesn't. He has, he's quit by them? No, he hasn't even been hired. Well, brought on. Okay, so who's this guy right here then? Which one's nurse? Yeah. Yeah, that one. All right. All right, so let me, I'm going to show you some videos. Okay. All right. Real fast. Uh -huh. Don't you want to see the document where he signed saying that I, I don't it. owe him money? Oh, the document that he signed? Where, he, where we scribbled out the loan on the document? I have that document. Okay. So um, then if you saw where we scribbled out the loan that we're not doing the loan and we both initialed it and dated it, then what? where would we get? I don't, I'm confused. Where did you guys then think that I took the loan for the truck? Uh, again, we're not doing... I understand you're not looking into that. But I just want it clear that I'm not bullshitting you. So that way, when we talk about other things, I'm not bullshitting you then either. Right. I'm, I'm being... A, just like you, you're telling me, I'm telling you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to show you... So okay. I just want to clear up. So you're not going to tell me who you know at the sheriff's office. I really wish you would. No. Okay. Because uh, they're doing you a disservice by, by telling you stuff outside of what they should be telling you. That's probably... Just a, like I already knew. You truth. knew you were going to be arrested today. No, I didn't. You told me when, when we stopped you. You knew it. You said you knew it. You had already called your wife three. Listen to me. You knew. You told me already. So don't back off of what you told me now. You already told me that you knew. So I know somebody already reached out to you and told you. And, and I'll be honest. I said, just call the guy. He'll come in. You should have just called me. I wish I could have, but that was above my head. I had no choice. Now I have to pay for a tow truck getting towed. That's going to be $500. Head. I don't have the money. It was above my head. You so. guys don't even give a fuck. You guys don't care. I don't care. think it'll be that much, but I, I don't know. You guys don't even care the I'm shit just, that you're putting me oh, through. I I'm I not care. impersonating. Okay. You guys are talking about funeral escorts. Jeremy, Jeremy I'm going to show you right now, man. Okay. And you tell me, okay? So let me tell you what I did. You know when you were arrested in Windermere, right? Mm-hmm. And they took your body cam? Mm-hmm. They wrote a warrant. Mm-hmm. And I know you already know this. You've already been told. No. Okay. I know you already know, but that's fine. We'll pretend you don't. They wrote a warrant. Okay. They pulled out, uh, they opened up your body cam. <coughs> what uh -huh. they saw was very disturbing. Okay. They contacted me. Okay. Because they know I'm working the same case. Sure. Okay. Uh, different jurisdiction. They provided me a copy of it. Okay. So it's completely legal. Okay. I went through this. And so some of your charges are based off of this. Okay. And I'll Some of my charges? I thought you said there was two. There, there's two. Yes, two. So I'm, I'm Two impersonating? What else? I'm going to show you. There's more than two impersonating? Yes. There's going to be more coming. What? For what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to explain it to you, okay? More impersonating? Among other things. What? 
I'm going to show you, okay? I told you I'm going to be completely fair with you. And show you you told me that you were going to do it all at one time, and now all of a sudden, now it's going to be back to back to back. No, it's not going to be back to back. If I, if I, I don't have control over it, but as far as I know, it's not going to be back to back. And I'm going to tell you, it's not just here. It, it's throughout the central Florida. It's multiple counties, okay? It's not good, man. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Do you want to watch? Sure. Okay. So what I did is, and I can show you each clip in an entirely, but what I did is I took this and I put like pieces from different rides that you did, different escorts that you did. Mm -hmm. So it, it comes out to about a 12 minutes worth of, well, probably about 10 to 12 minutes worth of clips, of little short clips. And then on top of that, then one long one. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so... I'm going to start the first one, we'll, we'll go through it, I'll let you explain, go <coughs> to the next one. It starts off kind of soft, and it gets hard, it gets really, it, 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 and, and I think once you see it, you might agree. You might not, but I think you will, okay? okay. Alright, so Winter Springs Funeral, mm -hmm. okay? And, and, and you remember your body cam, right? Mm-hmm. This is in Winter Springs. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What? Come here, dude. Sit right here. Do you, wh wh right here. Where do you have the authority to do that? He's going to hit the funeral. No, 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 no. In the funeral escort, you can only maintain one lane. This is a two-lane road right here. If everybody stayed like they're They're turning, going to the far left lane. They're all staying in this lane. They were not. Okay. They are going to the far left lane. You can't control both lanes. But okay. if they're crossing and going to the far left lane, then how would he's going to hit? Your what do you gotta, mean? Listen, he... Your guy's got to lead. You can't. You can't direct the traffic. Okay. So keep going. Just keep going. Yep. So. Stop. Right here. Stop. Stay there. What? Go past me. Go past me. Why do you have the radar head on there on your bike? In, in the middle, you have the the radar. Ah, I just came with the bike, and we just it, to take it to take it off. If you disconnect it, it t t turns all kinds of shit off. So it's not connected. It doesn't work. Then how could it turn anything off? Huh? You said if you take it off the if bike, you it turns it off. Disconnect it from the wiring harness. So it is hooked up. No, no, no. It doesn't come on. You know what I'm saying? You can't use it because the. The controller is not there. You know what I'm saying? That can be disconnected. That was disconnected. The the brain in the back in the trunk was taken out. But this be, it hooks to the the headlights or something like that or I don't know. And if they disconnected it, it would cause electrical issues. So they just left it there. But it doesn't work. Okay. Now. You see this lane right here? Mm -hmm. You see how they're they're traveling this direction? Right. Okay, on Tuscawilla Road. Mm -hmm. You see how they're in you're in the outside lane, right? Right. Closest to the curb, right? Mm -hmm. The inside lane, closest to the median. Why you're parked in the middle of the intersection, blocking them, not allowing them to move. And 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 if you watch, you're stopping them. Right. Now, because no, they, hold on, they, hold on. So you see this car right here? Mm-hmm. They have the right of way, and, okay. and they can't go anywhere because you won't let them. Why are you stopping that car? That's what I'm trying to figure out. We're facilitating the movement of the escort. Okay, so so you're saying you can block all lanes of traffic when you're facilitating the move of the escort. We're keeping the escort together, and the red light, the light's red. Doesn't matter if it's red. Remember, right. the state law says. You can act like a train, that's it. One lead vehicle, that's it. Act like a train. If the light's red, when you get there, you have to stop. If it turns green, you all go together. If it turns red while you're going, you can continue like a train. Come up to a stop sign, you stop. But once you start moving, you all continue moving as a train. Okay. Correct? Corporal, at this time, I really enjoy talking with you, but I think you we want need to, see to the stop. Rest of them? I think we need to stop because... We're just taught. No, I don't want to see the rest. I want to stop at this point. 
You're not. You're not listening to anything I'm saying. I'm trying to. You're not. You're not listening to anything you're saying. I'm saying. You're. You're putting words together, saying that we're doing this and doing that. Can I show you a couple of traffic stops you did, and then you tell me if that's a traffic stop? Traffic stops. Mm -hmm. Can I show them to you? Please. Okay. There's three, but there's one really important one I want you to see. Is that a siren? My camera? Yes, what sir. what escort is that? What are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Don't That's not even my voice. Get the fuck over before you find out. Stop telling your police officer. Listen, Stop. I know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. What you need to do is figure it out. That's not me. That's not even my voice. Okay. You, go ahead and pull your little phone out. I'm not do your little anyone. Google search and figure out what we're doing and what we're doing. Really allowed. Good. Then back. Who did that? You are. My body. Whose body camera was this? It's yours. This is what we're talking about. You didn't see it, but when we, it goes right by here, you see your face. We, we, we uh, already exploded it up to make sure. That we That's have not. This guy, he, he, he uh, actually lives in Virginia. This is a rental car. Good. And he positively identified you. I'm going to show you one more. Started this escort. Remember talking to the Daytona police officers? You rolled up, and you, yeah. had, you had the black guy with you, and you said, "Let's turn our cameras on in case something happens." And then you rolled up with your cameras rolling, and you talked to the officers. That's not my body cam. That's not me. Okay, so was did somebody get your body camera between the time you started this escort right here and got up to here? This is your guys doing this, correct? That's my guys doing that. Yeah. Okay. But that, that's a funeral escort, the, the charity event, or not a charity event. They had some kind of guy that died, and it's a funeral escort that they're leaving Daytona, and Daytona Beach Police gave them the permission to do it. Okay, so that was just a charity ride. There was, it wasn't a charity ride. It, it was, was actually... It was not a funeral. And what does the statue say for a funeral? Did you got to have a body and you can only go to the cemetery the, or to the funeral? They were going to the funeral or the so, cemetery. So why did you only escort them up to right here? Because they they are going to another county or something like that, and we stopped. Well, I, I'll speed up, and I'll just say what you're going to say here in a okay. second. You're going to say... You want to get to the park, get to the park, find out who it is. Yeah, you're talking about... You, you, you know, it, it's you have no control over what the statute says because goddamn whatever it's you know. So anyway, you're gonna tell them, okay, let's go. You're gonna tell repo, go ahead and open up the lane up here, the first one you all cut off, and start letting it go. Listen. You're like what? Just couldn't believe they actually were okay with it. Right, we wouldn't have done. They would have. I wouldn't have approved them to do that funeral had had Daytona said no. Okay. 
So, listen, let's get to 100. Let's get some speed. That's what you just said. So what you're going to do is you're going to race by the Corvettes with your siren on. You're going to race by the Corvettes to the exit. You tell me the first exit. First exit. Get off. The Corvettes keep going. You get off. So that's it for that. So this is Orange County Funeral Escort. Okay? Somebody get this dumb blonde bitch out of the way. So this is the same one. Okay? So you see, that's a red light you're taking. It's right on red in Florida. You can't go out into an intersection and control, control the red light. It's right on red in Florida. Not at every intersection, but let's go back. Somebody get this dumb blonde bitch out of the way. <laughs> What does that say? Stop here on red, right? Stop here on red. Mm -hmm. Not no turn on red. Okay. It says stop here on red. It doesn't say you can turn on red. It says stop here on red. Right. Correct? So you stop and then you can go once you see that it's clear. Correct. Is this a red light? Yes. Okay. So you cannot enter the intersection and take it to, to, to do this. We they had stop okay. at the okay. red light and then we move on. But they had the right of way. But that's okay. Okay. Again, corporal. Let's let me. That's last piece. Okay, y you'll appreciate this. Do you remember this day? That's not even me. So I don't it's know. It's not you. No, that's are, not are my body sure? camera. We're in the left. We're okay. in the right. I mean, we're in the left. I rode a different bike, so because the body cameras change with the bikes. Uh, okay. Are they just shit playing? Is that Victor? No. Right there. That's not Victor in that car? No. Are you sure about that? I, I can't answer that. I don't know. Okay, so let me tell you, that is Victor. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> and both of you were positively identified. How? The white Civic? Huh. Do you remember her calling you to file a complaint? Okay. Okay, here. Metro State. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, Metro State. Can I speak to Jay, please? This is he. Okay, is that you? Yeah. Okay, this is directly after. That's. This is this right. is your body camera. This is right after that escort you all drove up to Sanford. This is Sanford right here. Okay. Okay? And you called her. Right, because she called. And, and she didn't answer. <clears throat> you left a message. You said this is Jay. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. So that was your body camera that day. Because this is you right here. This is your phone. Right. Okay? Hi, Jay. Um, you called me back. Yes. Uh, sure. Can you tell me what happened? Hello? Hello? I already know what happened, so... I, Corporal, I, we're done. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Does anyone want to talk to me? Okay. You're, you're, you're... What is, exactly what is the point of this video? You asked me. Uh, we made a right on red. Okay, but you asked me if I could show you where you... I'm not impersonating. You we're said, not running said, a sirens. It's did you right not hear on the red. Sirens? Huh? Did you not hear the sirens? You, you want me to show you another video where you <laughs> car is off the road? Because I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know how you're still alive. Because there's some of these videos that I've seen, and and, I, and just so you know, the other uh, other municipalities around here and other counties, they've gotten all these videos as well. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how you're still alive. You you scare me with the way you ride. I mean, it's scary some of the stuff you're doing. I I truly. I can show you the video where you hear the oncoming traffic and you're trying to pass between two vehicles on a double yellow line. They're skidding their bikes. Are you sure that's my body camera, though, Corp? Positive. No, I don't. I don't know how because I know for a fact you just showed me three videos that are not me. So I mean, I, you just showed me a video where in winter or um, winter spring. No, 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 Dr. Phillips Boulevard. That you said. Or so one of them, let me tell you, the mm -hmm. one, the first one, the, the Winter Springs, because we jumped for it. I should have let you watch it all the way through. Right. If you watch it right before, as you're pulling up to Castleberry, the cemetery, mm -hmm. you say, you tell everybody, Castleberry's here, so no more sirens, air horns only. That's you saying it. No more sirens, air horns only. Okay? 
as you get closer to the to the cemetery, you're like the whole Oviedo police or the yeah Oviedo whatever it is. The whole Castleberry Police Department's here. That's what you said. The whole Castleberry Police Department's here. They all got to be here. Okay. No sirens. So you know the Daytona thing when you started off with the Daytona thing, yeah. the uh, escort. You told everybody, you know, start up your bikes. No sirens until we get out of uh, Daytona's jurisdiction. You hear you say? I said that. You want, you want to hear it? You no, said it. That's not my. That wasn't even me on that escort. All right. So, but but you said it, and I. How could I say it if I wasn't on that escort? Unfortunately for you, mm -hmm. this has also been authenticated by Victor. Okay. So, and we know what your voice sounds like because I've dealt with you enough where sure. I recognize it. Uh, Vidler has talked to you enough where he recognizes right. it. So it, 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 it's you. <clears throat> That unless you're I passing didn't go. Off, listen, unless you're passing off your body camera we within, do. within 10 minutes, 20 minutes of riding, because when you rode, the last one I showed you, when you rode, uh -huh. you were right there at Mills or whatever, the whole video goes to your kickstand brakes on that one. Okay. Remember, your kickstand spring broke, and it's dragging. I can hear it dragging as you're going across, and then you're yelling at the guy who's driving the F-250 because he hits the curves with the tires. You're like, dude, what are you doing? Uh -huh. And then you leave. You, you wind up stopping getting gas. You can drive up to Sanford. You get to Sanford, I think, the way it looked to me, they might have been there, but it looked like you got there before anybody else. And you called the lady, and you left a message for her saying, you know, you're returning a call. Right. And then uh, she called you back, and, and you recorded it. Right, because right. I pulled the video camera from somebody else and used their body camera. So right. you used somebody else's body camera, and you did that. Right. So, so what you're telling me is that you told me that your employees, they don't do anything wrong. They don't do any of this stuff, although we're seeing it in the video. So you're telling me that's one of your employees writing like that? So that's who we should be looking at for impersonating a police officer? The one that made a right on red? No. And the videos of people pulling people over, yelling out, screaming, cursing at them, telling them to get the fuck over, uh, pushing people off the road with the motorcycle. That's not you. That's one of your employees impersonating as a That is officer. not me. That that's is not my video camera. So that's one of your employees. That's all I'm asking. You told me. I don't have employees. employees. Okay. That's not one of your 1099s on your equipment doing that? That's not me, Corporal. Okay. Is it one of your employees? If so, just give me a name so I can go talk to him. <clears throat> No, I will not do that. Okay. Do you want to provide any of the other videos? I know you keep them at your office. We do not. Okay. You don't keep them at your office? No. Videos? Only videos of things where things have happened or issues that have happened or accidents. Okay. How many accidents have you had? Me? In general, with your business. I know you're being sued right now for an accident. I'm being sued? Are you not being sued for an accident? No. Maybe I took it the wrong way. Are you suing somebody for an accident? I'm not suing anyone. We have an uh, accident. They hit me, but it wasn't even on a funeral escort. Okay. How many accidents have you have during your funeral escorts have you caused? Have we caused? Mm -hmm. Zero. Because you didn't stay or because... The only reason I ask is because we, we do have somebody who's... After I've seen all these videos, we do have somebody who's come forward who mm -hmm. said that you caused an accident and you left. Where was this? It wasn't you either. I'll just let you know. It wasn't you. It was somebody who works for you. Or 1099 with you. When was this? Within the last few months. Oh, and where did this happen? Well, I, I'm, I'm giving you as much as I can. you got to give me something back, and then I'll keep going with you. I honestly don't even know the situation. I, you have to tell me. Okay. <clears throat> it, you're more than welcome to provide any video you want, and I'll, I'll look at it. But I can tell you that what we have right here, and, and you viewed it, I, I'm not making it up, right? I mean, would you, let me ask you this. The person that you see, that you're saying is not you with that right. camera, do you think they took any type of law enforcement action when they ordered somebody to pull over with a siren and, and the motorcycle with the lights? Do you think that they took any kind of law enforcement action? It's not you, you're telling me that. Do you think that person did anything wrong? I believe they forced somebody out of a funeral escort. Okay, but do you think with the siren, the tone, the lights, and, and the way you're dressed, do you think that somebody could confuse that with somebody as a law enforcement officer? No, because it says funeral escorts. Funerals. Your, your bike does not say funeral escort anywhere on it. Right, but all the vehicles have flags and those signs that say funerals. 
it's a funeral escort. People cut in and out. How come we're not talking to this gentleman from Virginia? You said his name, or you said he's from Virginia. How come you're not talking to him and writing him a citation for cutting in and out of the funeral and refusing to stay out of the funeral. Do you want to see the whole video on that? Because the problem was is that when when he got into the funeral, uh -huh. he couldn't tell it was a funeral because the cars were so spread out. No, no, because... And then, and then he, he realized, literally on the video you just showed me, he literally said, I know what you're doing, you can't do this. That's right, what right, he right, says right, right there. I, I told you this. So if he just, says he knows that it's a funeral, mm -hmm. so then I don't understand. Okay, he just said that. Okay, okay. So I told you in the beginning, right? These are little short sections of you. You, you have over 30 some gigabytes of uh -huh. videos that we got off of your camera. Okay. okay. A camera, not my camera. Okay. I'm listening. Well, in the very beginning, you identified that that was your camera. For the Windermere video, yes. Okay. How about for the the one where you called the lady to do the complaint? Was that you and was that you and holding your phone? That's me holding my phone. I grabbed somebody's body camera. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, we already know it is because at one point you right. flash it up and you can clearly see your face. Right, and I because I'm using somebody's body camera to record that okay. because I wasn't in motor uniform that day. You were. Or no, I, or I wasn't on a motor. No, I was. You You're were. right. Yes, you were because the video before that. Directly before that, when you called and left the message for her, mm -hmm. you were sitting on your bike. Right. I agree. <clears throat> You're right. I'm sorry. There's a video a little bit before that. We stopped at a 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. and you went inside. You left your bike outside. Okay. You got gas, all this stuff. You actually left your camera rolling at the time. Right. So there's video that shows you at 7-Eleven that day mm -hmm. that identifies you. It was clearly your face getting on that bike, putting your helmet back on, leaving. Okay. Okay. So unless you stopped... In between going there and Sanford, we did. Okay, but unless you stopped and gave your camera to somebody else, and then they went and did all this other stuff, it, it's it's the chronological order. It's it's just. No, it I admit that that was the me talking to the woman on the phone. Okay, so so that was your voice when you were talking to the lady on the phone, correct? That's me talking to the lady on the phone. Okay, I just asked. Did you ever tell her you were recording her? Yes, from the very beginning. I said this call is recorded. You told her that? Yes. You want to listen to it and see if you told her that? I, I, I Maybe I missed it. I didn't hear it. She called me, and I answered the phone and said we could talk and that this call was recorded. Okay. You want me We can listen to it together. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But I always say you're being recorded. How often do you have complaints where you people call and you record their conversations? I've only had two or three. But I always, in fact, the guy that you guys talk to, ask him. I'll, you, he'll tell you too that I said from the very beginning. You, you understand you're being recorded because we're recording this conversation. He said, sure. Which one? The gentleman that you're saying. He said that he was at the intersection of Princeton and what the off-duty officer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he'll tell you, I said, you're being recorded. This conversation is being recorded. I always say it. I, I, I hope. I, I... <sighs> well, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I listened to that phone call, and you, you sounded, and, and, and you might have just had a bad day, but you sounded very belligerent. You sounded like uh, you were talking down to her and that she was an idiot, and you actually called her an idiot. You called her a dumb hillbilly as you were calling her back because she told you to stop calling her. And at the end, which was the, the worst thing you could have done because that made her super mad, uh, was you called her, you didn't give a fuck what her lawyer says. And you, right, because she was saying that she's going to sue me. Like that. No, no, no. What she said was, I don't want you calling me anymore, and if you call me again, you're going to get a letter from my lawyer. That's what she told you. It's very clear. You can hear it. Oh. And you said, I don't give a fuck about your lawyer, bitch. And she said, what did you say to me? Yeah, we were having a bad day. And she was being rude. And she was accusing the guys of doing something wrong. And it was a funeral escort. And I wasn't on the funeral. So I didn't even know okay. what happened. Do you remember seeing the white car I showed you? Right. Okay. That was her in the white car. Do you okay. see how close she is to you? Right. She looked right at you. So she saw my face with my helmet and my sunglasses on. Looked right at you. Okay. All right, Corporal. So, uh, and, and that's what I'm saying is, and, and, and unfortunately for you, your cameras, like I told you before, they're much better than ours. Right. Uh, when you go by, like, the blue car that, that had stopped, you look 
down at him as you're coming up and in the back window. So my my face with my helmet and my sunglasses is me. You can see your face right there. You can see my face with my helmet and sunglasses. Jeremy, it was your face. Oh, okay, Corporal. I, I, it was you your voice. Something. The guy, I mean, come on, even us. You, know? you mean the guy, you guys sent pictures of three or four different people and said, this one, is this him? Come on. Uh, it, I didn't say he was in Virginia. I said he lives in Virginia. Right. I, okay, Corporal. Remember I said that, right? Sure. I didn't tell you he was in Virginia. I told you he lives in Virginia. All right, Corporal. I appreciate your time. Thank you. We're done. Okay. Can I call my wife now, please? I made you that promise, didn't I? You did. Am I, you talk to my wife? Talk to a lot of people. My phone... It's dead? You shut it off or it died? Uh, it might have got shut off or it died. I don't know. I just stuck it in my back pocket. Listen to me. They arrested me. I'm. How do you know? Hey, can you hear me? Hey. I need you to call Amir right now. Hey. 50, 50, 50, 56 with me up here so you can help me with the transport, please. Uh, okay. I don't have any. Call Amir no matter what. Call Amir. Tell okay. him what's going on. Who you called what bail bonds? Okay. And what did they say? Call Amir right now because Amir needs to tell them to get me out because they can revoke my bond and not let me out. Hey, listen. All I'm doing is serving the warrant. I, I'm not worried about any of that other stuff. So, as far as I know, you're, you're going to get your warrant or your uh, bond tonight, okay? Okay. All right. All right. I love you. I love you so much. I, they're arresting me for impersonating. For impersonating. Because they're saying that they, there's a video of, of somebody's helmet camera and it shows them running sirens and telling somebody to pull off the road. And they're saying it's me. No, they're saying it's me, but it's not fucking me. It's fucking, I don't know who it is. To be honest with you, I can't tell who it is. All I fucking know is, is that's what they're saying I'm doing. No, they were on a motorcycle. And it says Yeah, it's my guys. It's one of my guys. Guys, yeah. But can you tell who he is? I can't. Do the, the it's a short video. Yeah, but where? <sighs> I don't know. He said it was a couple weeks ago or a month ago or something. So somebody pulled over. Somebody? No, nobody. He didn't pull him over, but he yelled at him to get out of the funeral and said, "Pull over." Okay. Did, uh, why did they? arrest you now. They're saying that was me. So they say they're in charging me for impersonating a police officer. Yeah, but and then they're saying, is that the one you're charging me with? That one? Which one? The, the guy There's from Virginia? Where they pulled over. No. Oh, so which one are you charging me with for the impersonating? The one I told you with the, uh, the off-duty deputy. Oh, the off-duty deputy that hit me. The one that's saying that I was directing traffic because he was cutting in and out, slamming on his brakes. And what's the other one? Today is the one with the off-duty deputy and the, uh, the the lady that filed the comp that called you and complained. And then some lady that called and complained because they made a right on red. They stopped at the red light and then made a right on red. And they saying that, I don't know, we're impersonating police officers because she called and complained. What else? You're, so more are coming then. I, I told you, right, that Orange, that uh, the other counties have received all this. So like when you shut down 95, that's going to be an issue. When uh, you, you had the Osceola stuff. I, I, I tried Osceola? To, yeah, we, you didn't want to watch the whole video. I tried to show it to you, but you didn't want to watch it. But we, I, I, I told you I was going to show you everything. But. So they're trying to say I'm, multiple counties are going to probably arrest me because they're saying it's me. They're saying it's my body camera. No, what I told you is that you asked me. 
are there any more charges coming? And I said there could be more charges coming from these other counties that they've been provided with this information. Oh, so they're saying now it's possible that they're going to arrest me. I, I, I cannot tell you what another county is going to Because it's not even my fucking camera. My I use the camera for the one escort uh, for the Windermere thing because my helmet got taken. I, I fucking... I, I'm not... I'm not... No. I'm, Tell the fool was that. Or are they going to arrest you? They already arrested me, Rania. Yeah, but they, you better tell the police that the person that did this. No, I'm not. <sighs> yes, you have to. You have to tell the police that. It wasn't even my fucking helmet. I was using that helmet on for Windermere. Yeah, who, who was that? Person? Yes. Who was, who was the person that was do, saying I, that? Those things. And then they have a video of Sergeant Vittler watching us in an intersection, and he's saying it's me. I wasn't even on that escort. I know for a fact I wasn't on that escort, because I know for a fact where I was at that time. So, <laughs> it's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. What, what do you mean it's whatever? You're going to tell the who was that person that was saying those things. Because the, the person that's sitting in the intersection uh, holding for the escort, they're not even directing traffic. He's just sitting there. And they're saying, oh, well, he can't make a left-hand turn. Yeah, because the funeral's going by. Yeah, but why are you getting arrested for that? That's not the one they're arresting me for. They're arresting me for this one where she calls and makes a complaint. And I call her back and talk to her. And they're arresting me for the off-duty deputy. Because he was slamming on his brake. They didn't arrest me that day. They they put they let you go. right. They let me go because they said I didn't do anything. So why they're arrested for it now? I don't fucking know, honey. I don't know. Cut. Let. I, I love you. I love you. All right, tell you gotta go. I gotta go. All right. Okay. Bye. Call me later. I'm gonna try to get a hold of All right, please. All right, bye. All right, bye. I, hey. Hey, yeah. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Can I make one more phone call, please? I, I can't let you make any more, man. I wasn't really supposed to let you do that one. I don't want to get in deeper water, but Can I, felt, I write down I some phone you. numbers be uh, before my phone dies and you just give me the piece of paper? What phone numbers do you want to write down? Amir and my wife's phone number, because believe it or not. You don't know your wife's phone number? I can't remember names and numbers. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna give you a piece of paper. I'm gonna let you do this. You can stick them in your pocket, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm not supposed to do this, man. I can't remember names and numbers to save my life. I, I, I'm right there with you, man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm telling you that. To, listen, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm doing this. Uh, it is what it is, because you've been cooperative with me. I know it's a little aggravating, but <clears throat> give me your wife's number, too, again. Just make sure I have the right one, and that way I, I'll call her to let you know as soon as you're into the jail and so that she knows about when you're going to get out. 407. Sure. I know what you're saying, Corp, but, uh, but I'm telling you that wasn't, that's not even me. I don't even. It's not even fucking me, man. That's just bullshit, man. That's just bullshit. I've been upfront with you guys. I, if you would have shown me that, I would have. That would have been different. But it's too late. Whatever. I, I've always told you guys the truth. You know that, and you even said that. And that's not fucking me telling it, yelling at that guy. So I'm a. I'm listening. I, and I, I think as well as I let you know this. Mm-hmm. I. <clears throat> it's illegal for you to possess a uh, pepper ball gun. It's concealed. It wasn't. I, it, it was behind the back seat in the vehicle. Listen, it was in the back seat of the vehicle. You're in possession of the vehicle. You're in possession of it. I asked you, and the other deputy asked you if there's any. Actually, the other. Come on, Corporal. Listen. That's bullshit. I didn't even know it was in the truck. You, you did, because you told us. 
No, I didn't. What I said exactly was my other guys were driving the vehicle. Okay, so listen, I'm not charging with that today. It's today. And I'm telling you, I'm not charging you today. There's a reason I'm telling you that, okay? Because it's if my chain says charge them with it, then I'm going to charge you with it, okay? And I'm going <laughs> to listen. I'm not going to come and arrest you for it. I'm going to file it, and then I'll let the state decide what they want to do with it, okay? But that's listen. That's the fairest way that I can do it because then if the state says, you know what, I don't, I don't agree with it, it goes away. If they say that it, yes, they agree with it, then they send, a, they issue a warrant and they're going to notify you. But okay? Corporal, you even admitted your goddamn body camera was off, so you didn't record that scene where I told you, no, I, you know, there's no got, weapons in my okay. vehicle. Listen, when it got mm -hmm. shut off was when uh, I climbed into your vehicle to search for it. Oh. So I think when I went over and I was getting the stuff out of the cooler for you, it, uh -huh. I was reaching in. It got because look where the switch is right there. So I think it got shut off then. But, but so then you I'm have on video that I said I don't know say. if there's anything in the vehicle. I wasn't driving it the other day. I, the, I in fact might, you said it might be there might be something there, in there. But there's no guns or knives that I know of. And I'm gonna put that in the report just like that. Okay. <laughs> So That's bullshit. We're not the Orange County Sheriff's Office. We don't search our vehicles. And behind, the, you said it was behind the seat. It, so let me tell you. Even even the other deputy that was there when I was stopping you, they saw you reaching over and just, I was reaching for my body camera. Okay, but that, they didn't know that. I didn't know that. And it just so happens you were reaching over. So I don't know if you were trying to move it or hide it or what you. No, were I was. I, I, I don't. Or, Listen, I don't know. I'm you saw me get out with my body camera. I was reaching for my fucking body camera. In fact, that's why my wallet fell on the floor because I was digging through my bag to get my body camera and my wallet fell. Okay. I never reached behind the seat. So your that's DNA, bullshit. So your DNA will not be on that gun? Of course. I, pro I own all of them. I've probably so touched So it is yours? I own all of them. Okay. And I give them to my guys. Okay. That's come on, dude. That's I, I not just, a fair. That's not a fair. You know, goddamn. Not, well, you were behind me, and, I, and you didn't see me reaching behind my seat. I'll tell you exactly what I saw. I saw you do this, and you leaned way over. Right to get my body camera. I don't know that. I was in the truck with you. The other deputy saw the exact same thing. To get my body camera, corporal, okay. and I, you saw my wallet on the floor so because it fell out of my back. You to obtain one, uh, possess one of those, right? You do know that, right? Not in plain view. Okay, it's not in plain view. I didn't ha I, that's, I didn't put it behind the seat. Okay. I wasn't carrying that, that okay. today. Okay. I, if I had it, I would have had it in plain view. You know that I know that I can have that. Okay. You cannot have one concealed. It, if I know the statute, 970 says I can carry it in Listen, plain when view. When you say 970, break it down because you know 970 has one through zero one through zero four. I, I don't zero, know zero. the subsection, but right. in the so, yeah, in so 970, very broad because I, I can look it up there. real fast. I, I already know it. Okay, and it says that's how that I know you can't have it in, uh, concealed. Concealed, right? And I know that I can carry it for self-defense purposes as long as it's in plain view. So if I knew I can have it in plain view, hold on, Corp. You're you're not listen, rat. No, no, it's no, no, not. No, listen to me. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I completely understand, but you told me you don't want to talk to me anymore. So oh, so now you're going to pull that shit. No, 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 no. Corp. I don't want you to. You're going to try to by arguing with me. And I don't want anybody saying that I was trying to make you talk. That's all I'm saying. Is you're not making I, me I, talk. I told you what the charge is. I, I told you, and I'm telling you, I know that I can have it in plain view. So why would I stick it behind the seat? That doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. Okay. That's re that's a that's that's so I'm who, trying to be who, just I'm no, trying to be respectful. Who would respectful. you have issued that to? Who would have had that? All my guys have pepper balls. Okay. And and the guy that was driving the tow truck. Who was that? Uh repo, he had a pepper ball. Everyone had pepper balls. Okay. That come on, Corporal. That's that's just, bullshit and that's low bullshit if you pull that crap. I come am on, man. I'm just telling you straight up. What Come could on. potentially happen? I'm not saying that's what's happening. I'm just telling you that's what could potentially happen. Uh, you asked me to be honest with you. Tell me all the charges. I just remembered while you were talking to your wife that that was one of them. So I, it just kind of hit me when I was sitting here thinking about it. Corp, so. you know that's bullshit. That's bullshit, man. All right. So I'm, I'm just waiting. If I knew that I can carry it in plain view, then I wouldn't hide it. Right. Come on. And I know that it can't be concealed. You talk to Victor, you talk to all my other guys, so talk to them. And they'll tell you that I, when you're wearing it, and if you put a rain jacket on, I tell you, make sure that is in plain fucking view. 
Right. Make sure you tuck your jacket right. This is... Hey, are you heading up here to assist me with this? Oh yeah, no, I was telling you, I, uh, the felony squad didn't give me any of the paperwork. They just turned them over. So either I need, yeah, so, well, that's, I don't have anybody here right now. So I need somebody to come do the transport and they can serve the warrant too. They can take them there and serve the warrant. That's fine. So I just need, right, keep, <laughs> yeah, do it for me. <clears throat> do it for me. Yeah. Yeah, they're already posted. So all that yeah, they've it's already been confirmed. They just need to come get them and then have them emailed over, uh, and then that way we can get him down there. Yep, yep. So yeah, he just that's he just needs a ride. He's already talked to his wife, so he, he's already got his bond working out, uh, so he can be bonded out. So he's good with that. No. No. Correct. Correct. So he's 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 been pretty cooperative. He's he's a little aggravated, but he's been pretty cooperative. Did he just say I won't get out? Mm -mm. So he said so he knows he'll get out. So yeah, that's what he said. No, Jeremy, I, uh, Jeremy was, could hear my phone, and so he was asking, did he just say I was not going to get out? And I said no. He was saying that he knows you're going to get out. So so. All right, call, call the transport for me. Thanks, man. Do you do me one favor, mm -hmm. please? Can you look up Ladan Law Firm? Because I, I want to make sure this is the right number. The Ladan Law Firm. <clears throat> spell his last name. Why do you keep doing that? And I'm then you're going to review like the you. video with the state and everyone's going to laugh that I can't even fucking spell my la lawyer's last name. Hey, they're going to laugh at me too because I'm a horrible speller guy. L-A-D-I-N. L-A-D-I-N. Law firm. L-A-D-I-N. You're not going to be right there together, guy. Okay, come up. Yeah, what number do you have? I have 4072. That's what it is. Is it? Okay. Yep. Shows up as number A on the website. So it would be located at... They close soon. They close at 5. Oh, what time is it? 438. Come on, you gotta Which let me make one more call. fucking phone I, call. Dude, Corporal. I am probably already in trouble for letting you make the one. You know, I this really is am. bullshit. It's you not. know goddamn well. Stop. You know goddamn well you don't have a picture of my face because that wasn't me yelling at that guy in that fucking okay. car. That's bullshit. Okay. That is bullshit. How do you think I got the lady's number that you called? Huh? How do you think I got the lady's number that you called? Because I know she called the sheriff's office no, after. Yes, yeah, she did. God is my witness. She did not. She didn't know what to do after that. She called OPD. Right. So she called OPD and, and she OPD, filed a complaint. No, she didn't. She called OPD and OPD said, we don't know who they are. And so she hung up. She got upset, so frustrated because of what you all were doing. She thought you all was some type of new state agency for the state of Florida. I don't tell her on the phone that I'm a cop. No, what you tell her is you're a state sanctioned company. We are state approved. We're state approved. You're state we have a state license. That's, you're not state approved to do what you're doing. Okay. So, uh, and that's not how you tell her. You tell her you're state sanctioned to do it. But regardless, <clears throat> I, you know, I mean, because you don't want to talk to me, so I just tell you. But she said basically, well, I, I can't, I can't, because I, I, I'll get in trouble if I keep talking. I can't. Sorry. We can talk about baseball. Did you watch the, uh, the baseball? Did, you know, they're going to the seventh game. You know, that's, what is it, the uh, DC team? That's the first time in like almost 100 years that they've gone to. Uh, the world you know, the problem is, Corporal, I'd be happy to talk to you, but you're trying to record everything, and I'm not... You, you're going to use you everything record. against me? Listen, you record everything. <laughs> you record everything. I 
know for a fact that wasn't me. Okay. That's some bullshit. Listen to me. I can only do what I can do, <laughs> right? Unless you can give me a name, I can't do anything else. And I, I can't even talk to you. Let's talk about the weather. Go ahead. No. It's just me and it's just me and him, so I can't even leave the room. Yeah. Please? Yeah. Bye bye. Can I see who it is, please? I, I can't. I, I literally was just told on. I was just told because they heard that I was you were talking to somebody on the phone, so you already got me in trouble there. Thanks, guy. I but I'll take my life for you. You don't have to lie for me. I'm not going to lie. There's no reason to lie. I'll take my legs. Listen to me. I am a fair person, and I know if I was in your position, I would hope that somebody would be nice enough to let me call. Because I know when you get down to jail, if you can't remember numbers, listen, 10 years ago, everybody, everybody had... remembered the numbers. That's right. It wasn't, today, you don't click on your wife's picture. That's right. Today, you don't. Luckily, I remember my wife's number, but that's the only one. I couldn't tell you. I remember my wife's I, number. I can't tell I'm you my closest pressing. friend's phone number. I can't tell you my brother who lives so close to me's phone number. I, all kinds of people, relatives, my so dad. So then if nothing. you're up front, Corporal, then why are we doing this? I didn't listen to me. fucking. Oh, you're not charging me for that guy. Jeremy, listen. I didn't even pull that. I, that wasn't me. Okay, listen to me. You said you didn't want to talk to me anymore. I, 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 I then shut the recorder off. Shut your body I camera can't, off. I can't. Do that. We can talk like real people. I can't. You know I can't do that. You're, you, you're trying to get me in trouble, and I'm not gonna. No, because trouble. you're trying to twist my words. I'm not twisting anything. You are. That's the problem. You guys. You fucking ask me a question, and then because and my lawyer yells at me all the time. He yells at me all the time. Go ahead. Uh, tell them to come upstairs so we're not standing outside just in case the news is there. I don't want them messing with it. Okay. Alright, how far out are they? Well, we're in the back side of the building. Yes, go to the back side too. You know where the, the PSD door and the other door? We're gonna be right there on the back side. Yeah, the side door, not not PSD on the front side, but on the side. You know where everybody goes to hide the smoke and everything. The field right there. That's that's where we'll be. All right, all right, man. So what I was saying is, is uh, see, I'm trying to keep the media from seeing you. My fucking you know. lawyer yells at me all the time because I talk to you guys. Because I talk to you willingly because I'm we're not hiding shit, and I can fucking promise you as soon as I find out. Let me ask you. This is really because it has no bearing on, on on what we're discussing here. But I, I noticed in the Tampa video you said this, and I'm just curious why. And and, and it might be because you missed out. And and let me tell you something. You, you've obviously had some bad cards dealt to you, okay? And, and and I know you've told me about like the the first time you were doing the, the got the impersonation of something about getting gas or something, right? Mm. And, and the clerk just overreacted, okay? Screwed up your life. Uh, and then you told me about the Cowboys thing, right? Another mm -hmm. screw up. <clears throat> and but uh, why? Why didn't you tell the lady, the two officers over in Tampa, and, and the corporal that showed up? That, that sergeant. It was a corporal that showed up. Oh, well, they were waiting on a sergeant, right, but he right. never showed up. It was just the corporal. Uh, but I, I just don't get why you would tell him that you were a police officer for Oviedo for twelve years or ten years, and that you were in the military and got out as a major. For 12 years, uh, and then and then you made it clear to uh, the security guards there at the building that you had a G clearance and did the you know. I, I, I'm just curious. I, 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 do you think that helps boost you? Be you, man. You, listen to me. I am telling you. Had I met you on different circumstances, it would probably be different. You're not a bad guy. You have you have a lot of good qualities you have a lot of good ideas it's just the way you go about doing them i've told you that before right it, uh, it hasn't changed i i think i truly believe that if you just did the right way it's harder anything that you want in life it's hard to get there's always an easy way to get it but if you do it the hard way you appreciate it more and you have the talent to do it you have the ability to do and it and that's why you I have know, the support to do it and that's why i know we're doing the escorts right whoever that fucking was 
But every time you sitting out in an intersection directing a, a, a truck to stop and all I'm, I'm, I'm not even talking about that because I can't. But it doesn't matter. But you understand what I'm saying. So you have the ability to be, you know, do it the right way. I this just is my I, listen, point right I hope here you start doing it. I, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Let's talk about the weather. I'm doing it the right way. I'm okay. doing it the right way and I'm fu I, I, I tear my guys apart when they fucking do dumb shit like that. Right. And I'm gonna go to. The, I'm the one that's getting that 15. I'm the one going to jail for this. All right, this is ending our interview uh, on this tape recorder, and it is uh, 16:45 or 4:45.